frequently asked questions about acute abdominal pain in children. What is the strategy to narrow down the causes of acute abdominal pain in children? The age and gender of the child can help focus the differential diagnosis. In infants and toddlers, clinicians should consider congenital anomalies and other causes, including malrotation, hernias, mechal diverticulum, or intussusception. In school-aged children, constipation and infectious causes of pain, such as gastroenteritis, colitis, respiratory infections, and urinary tract infections, are more common. In female adolescents, clinicians should consider pelvic inflammatory disease, pregnancy, ruptured ovarian cysts, or ovarian torsion. What is the most common cause of surgical pain? Appendicitis is the most common cause of acute abdominal pain requiring surgery, with a peak incidence during adolescence. What should the initial assessment focus on? The initial assessment of acute abdominal pain should focus on the severity of illness and whether there is a potential surgical cause of abdominal pain. How can the description of abdominal pain be used to differentiate between surgical and non-surgical causes? Chronic, intermittent acute abdominal pain is less likely to be related to a surgical cause than a first episode of acute pain. Poorly localized pain that improves with movement is more likely visceral pain. Pain that is sharp, localized, and worsens with movement has most likely originated from somatoparietal receptors found in the parietal peritoneum, muscle, and skin. What are the clinical signs that indicate possible need for surgery in patients with acute abdominal pain? The signs are absent bowel sounds, bilious vomiting, Bloody diarrhea or occult blood in stool. Elevated temperature. Rebound tenderness. Rigidity. What laboratory tests can aid in the diagnostic evaluation? Initial laboratory tests should include a complete blood count, erythrocyte sedimentation rate or C-reactive protein, a pregnancy test, if indicated, and urinalysis. Other tests may include liver function tests, amylase lipase, or both for pancreatitis, sexually transmitted infection testing, and stool studies, including evaluation for occult blood. What imaging modality can aid in the diagnostic evaluation? Ultrasonography is relatively inexpensive and does not expose the patient to radiation. It is the first line imaging choice for undifferentiated acute abdominal pain unless history or physical examination identifies a specific diagnosis. It is the primary imaging choice for pyloric stenosis, cholecystitis, pancreatitis, renal calculi, ovarian cysts, ovarian torsion, and pregnancy complications. What is the imaging of choice in acute appendicitis? Ultrasonography is the imaging tool of choice for evaluation of appendicitis, followed by CT or magnetic resonance imaging for equivocal findings. What can be used for pain relief in acute abdominal pain? For severe pain, opiates should be used and will not delay or affect the accuracy of diagnosis. What if the child does not have acute surgical abdomen and the diagnosis is undetermined? If a child does not have an acute surgical abdomen and the diagnosis is undetermined, the examination should be repeated in 24 to 48 hours. Up to 30% of children will have a change in their diagnosis. Audio Jungle Audio Jungle